And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Championless Undying. It's our next donation deck that we're going to be playing. This deck has no champions, and it's it's not just an not just an all-out aggro deck with no champions. We got a nice mid-range um, deck here, you know, kind of built around the Undying and all of the sacrifice themes in Shadow Isles, the kill your own unit type stuff. You know, we have. Card to, so cards to kill our own units. We have our Glimpse, uh, well, of course, Ravenous Butcher, uh, but then Glimpse Beyond, Blighted Caretaker, um, Chronicler of Ruin, Ethereal Remitter. Tons and tons of ways to kill our own units, and so we can keep on killing our Undying. Each time that it dies, it you keep reviving it, and it gets plus one, plus one, so you can eventually make them too big for your opponent to um, deal with. Now, you got to have some defensive elements there, too, because that's not going to just... Um, when you the game. Usually people can outrace the Undying because the Undying can't block. So we have things like Possession that we can steal our um, steal an enemy follower from the opponent, attack them with it, and then after combat we can use any of these sacrifice effects, especially Ravenous Butcher, uh, to get rid of it for good. Um, but then we have we have some other like uh, really cool things with Bilgewater. Like we're splashing Bilgewater here Normally people would splash like Demacia, but we're splashing Bilgewater for some cool things. We have Citrus Courier, because they don't want to block the Undying. And so if they don't block the Undying, then we have Plunder turned on, and then boom, Rally. Uh, especially with having multiple uh, the Undyings, we can Rally here and and heal our uh, Nexus 3 and heal them all and everything like that and get a 4-5. We also have Sheriff Lariat Rose, so we can grant all of our enemies vulnerable, which is awesome with the Undying, because if they don't want to block the Undying, we can force them to block the Undying. <laughs> you know, we can uh, have all of their enemies get vulnerable and then attack how we want and say, all right, these are blocking our Undyings. So that's really cool, too. And then we have, you know, like our top end cards, like Ruination. This is a great card with the Undying because your Undying will come back while all of their things die. Um, so, you know, we got, we got a bunch of awesome syn synergies in here. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. And, of course, there's a hired gun with the Vulnerable for the Undying as well. Okay, so let's go play five games. We're going to just play five games over in Ranked like we always do. We'll see how this new donation deck goes for us. Should be should definitely be an interesting one to see how all these synergies work and, and really see if we can see if we can stabilize with how fast the metagame is now. now the person that, that did donate for this said that they played it a lot a couple of weeks ago and they haven't been able to play a lot recently um so we'll see you know kind of before uh noxus started to take over with how aggressive noxus is so we'll see if, if we can uh stabilize and, and still do go with the deck okay playing scout mid-range or, you know, scout aggro, depending on, on how you want to think about it. We're going to get rid of these two. We keep those, even though it's kind of slow. But Wraith Caller into, like, Chronicler, the Wraith Caller. Definitely really good. Yeah, sweet. I've I've just kind of changed games. Um, yeah, I switched over to Runeterra, and I'm, I'm just really happy with Runeterra. Love it. Perfect card to draw to go with our Curse Keeper to not fall too far behind. But we could wait. Could wait and go Possession. And have Possession with Ravenous Butcher. But nah. Just want to get these in play. We'll save that possession for later. And I like this trade because otherwise they would be able to use War Chefs and have Flea Feather Tracker trade with my 4 3. So now they don't have the, the Flea Feather Tracker to take out the 4 3. Calling all raids. Eat up, friends. 
Hmm. Alright, we'll take five, go to ten. And then next turn, I'll go Chronicler of Ruin on the Wraith Caller. No, because I don't I don't want to trade both because I don't I don't want the Wraith Caller to die, because I I want to be able to Chronicler of Ruin my Wraith Caller so we get another Mist Wraith. So yeah, that, that's, that's what we're thinking here. Um, now I can ruination next turn already. Oh no, do we we missed? I've got your back. Oh no, so we got a bilge water card on top. We missed. Well, it has fearsome. Just played a bunch of two like those are just three two mana cards. My strength uh. is yours. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Don't love doing it, but we're gonna do it. It's just bad. Like if I if I go Curse Keeper Undying, I don't have any kind of defense. Let me pass turn to them. Let's see what they do. Soldier to me. All right, I guess I think we trade, or at least try to trade. have a lot of lot of mana over here and the round that's good that's a good card because basically I don't I don't want to um, I don't want to attack they use you know whatever trick to keep uh, Sithria alive and then boom I'm at 10 Expecting that. We're gonna have nine mana next turn. Yeah, like they, they definitely have to have like spells to kind of keep this alive, I would think. Glad we passed. The Demacian soldier is worth tenfold. <laughs> Bubble Bear? All right, they're doing bits over here, playing Bubble Bear. Follow my lead. 
Bubble Bear can't block any of these fearsome things. These two possessions have been great. Yeah, these possessions have looked great. Of course, we're, we're playing against a deck with you know, six mana... Um, six mana followers with the Scythrias. It's like one of the very best targets in the whole game. Yeah, the, the possessions were MVPs for you. I can see it. Looked good. Follow my lead. My opponent's been confused of what's been going on, but uh, they've been very good. I wanted to tap a little lower before I atrocity. We need we need to switch up our emote game, get some better emotes. So basically, single combat would be the card I'd be scared of the most if I cast the Undying, or if I cast Atrocity on the Undying. Back. Fall to our standard. Got that win. We got to steal two Scythrias, sacrifice them both. Awesome. Okay. Let's see, what do we want? Not so fast, maybe a gotcha. No, definitely need the Mwahaha. We don't really need a not so fast. All right, so championless deck, one and O oh, and O. Oh, this is this is where it's going to be tough. Like I don't I don't know. Uh, this is what this is what we were worried about. Is it will we be uh, fast enough to be able to um, handle these Noxus decks? All right, so I, I love the possession butcher. Grass is probably pretty good too. I guess I get rid of Undying, even though it's kind of like what our decks built around. I want to play it until pretty late. So by turn four, we'll have ten mana. So we'll, we'll be able to play one of these on turn three and then the other one on turn four. The goal is... Or like, so... Basically, we're going to go Grass the Undying first... I don't want to use Grasp on that thing. And they just Noxion Fervor me. I guess I, I guess we do. And I still have five mana next turn, so next turn we can go Possession, Butcher. They play uh, the four mana card next turn. Basilisk Rida. Explosive. Saboteur. 
Awesome. Game plan's changed. Remember the objectives. For the glory of Noxus. What if I... Hey, got a brand new Twitch Prime s sub. Coming neato. I don't know if that's <laughs> cor correct, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I was close. Thank you so much, that is awesome. Um, okay, so we could just go with the uh, Curse Keeper, Curse Keeper, Ravenous Butcher, start attacking. I feel like this Possession Ravenous Butcher is just pretty important though. So I feel like that's really good. I don't know. I don't know. Because, like, if I play the Ravenous Butcher, like, they block, like, Butcher and Demolitionist trade, and then they take six instead of just one. And, you know, we'd have the four. The four, four. Alright, that card's always super scary. If I wanted to take Bacillus Rider. I know, that wasn't really that special. We just used five mana removal spell, basically. On a two mana card. Okay, Thresh Emote was the better play. That can be good with the possession. Could try to use atrocity to kill Darius also before we take a bunch of damage. I will take that, thank you. Butcher. <clears throat> we'll take that. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire. All right, so hopefully Sheriff Lariat Rose next turn could be good. I. Right, I was gonna say I hope they don't attack with Darius. We'll we just here. take five. So definitely thinking they have more Darius because they've just been real slow. They didn't play Darius there. So they want. The chase begins. I should probably just be going for damage, shouldn't I? I should just put these over here next to these and just do 10. 
Yeah, I, I should just be going for damage and then atrocity. This is this is not a good play by me. I I didn't really think about atrocity because basically the whole go, if I go for damage, then they they tap out basically for um, harrowing and then I atrocity and kill them. That's that's what I should have gone for. Yeah, it's very obvious they're going to have harrowing. I, I should have gone for that. Okay, at least we get an Iron Ballista out of, out of their deck as well. I'm just going to Ruination it. Yeah, we're just going to go for Ruination. Does two to us, so we are down to seven. We're down to just one card, though. Where's the mana cost with the elusives? I guess... Okay, if I kill the Mist Wraith, we get a 4 drop. If I kill the Wraith Caller, we get a 6 drop. I think I want a 6 drop. Could be so much more. Hmm. It's a good 6 drop, but not... Not good enough. need something elusive or something like that yeah I mean so this this game I definitely could have won like I could have won with the atrocity play that that game was my fault that we lost that was definitely my fault with that I I yeah I like the sheriff Larry at Rose um, Needed to. I could have dealt, you know, I could have, yeah, I could have dealt more damage to them, put them in lethal range with atrocity, and then killed them whenever they harrowinged. So, my bad. Our our deck was good enough, but I wasn't. Ooh, elusives are going to be tough. Don't get to block them. I like this hand. Um, I wish we had the attack token on turn three with Caretaker. Um, you know, go Curse Keeper, Caretaker. No elusive six drop. This is just really awkward sequencing because we don't have the attack token on turn um, on turn three. Basically, no matter how I sequence it, it's kind of awkward because if I if I go for possession plus butcher on turn three, that's good. But then turn four, I'm kind of you know stuck. I don't have uh, I can't go curse keeper plus caretaker on my turn four attack. 
That was the one card I did not want them to play right away was Zed, because I... Mm. Oh, cool, Noisy. Are you playing, playing this deck? You just played three games with it? Very, very nice. That was the play that it. Yeah, you know, I wish I wish I just didn't play anything on turn two. Cause I wish I, we would have just stolen the Green Glade duo. Um, I wish I didn't play anything on turn two. I did not want to let their card level up. Um. Because I wanted the sap, you know sapling to be able to kill Zed, um, but now things have kind of changed. My plan was possession, steal the Green Glade duo, have the Green Glade duo attack the Zed. Hang on, uh, that was my plan. Wow, just everything everything went really bad for me this game. Just how Everyone here? cards go. lined up. Everything went bad. Um, I just shouldn't have played. Shouldn't have played Curse Keeper on turn two. Things could have been a lot different. I think I'm just dead. Cause I can't I can't ruination. Yeah, like the, the game's just over. I can't ruination, because I ruination, they just play these things. I mean this game's just over. Awesome, awesome hand. GG's. Both of those recalls were, were great. You know, double green glade duo Z. I mean they they had it. I I liked my hand a lot, but uh, I didn't have the attack token turn three. They had the attack token turn three, so they got to attack with Zed on three, and I didn't get to um, I didn't get to use caretaker. Like that was that was a big big part of that. So who got to do their thing on turn three? Both of those cards are kind of worthless on defense, but amazing on offense. Questions, maybe ditch Grasp the Undying for another Withering Whale. I'm not sure about that. Withering Whale is amazing in that matchup, but there's not very many. Like, it's really great against Green Glade Duo, but there's not a lot of matchups where it's awesome against, to be honest. Even against, like, these Noxus decks, they're all playing, like, the Crimson Disciples. They kind of punish you for playing Withering Whale. It's gonna be tough for us to beat these aggro decks. This hand won't do it. I think I think the metagame is probably too aggressive for our deck, but 
With that being said, we ha we do have, I mean, this is just a cool deck with a whole bunch of awesome synergies. It's just a little too slow for how aggressive everything is. And, you know, it's unfortunate because it's, it's a fun deck to play. There we go. That possession was the card that I wanted to draw. Do wish we had two more mana so we could possession that and uh, sacrifice it. That would be ideal. But we'll take three damage. I yeah, so undying we wouldn't usually mulligan against, but just against the against the really aggressive decks I'm mulligan undying because it doesn't block. I'm mulliganing it here. But normal, most against mid-range and control decks, we're certainly keeping the card, like the card, but not, not here. What's up, Mamba Man? How are you today? I feel, I feel like another two drop would be good for us to play. I'll try Either Arachnid Horror or Mist Wraith. Or both. And maybe we don't need the remitters. Like maybe that's something that could just be turned into two drops or something. Like maybe that would help out against that. You know, I'm, I'm kind of spitballing here thinking of like ways we could, yeah, could get a little bit better against aggro. Because we only have Cursed Keeper and Hired Gun. And obviously, Curse Keeper is not the best against aggro. Here, On turn two without Ravenous Butcher. The Butchers have been really good. I'm glad we have so many of those. This looks like another transfusion. That's that must be nice. To have a second transfusion. And so we're going to try to possession and glimpse beyond. Yeah, remitters are good with undying on board, but that, I mean that's true. But we have to be able to get to that spot. Too easy. Remember the objectives. Yeah, if you use possession and then if you use Chronicler, Ruin, Ethereal Remitter, any of these things, theirs it theirs dies completely. And then you get a new one back. So it's good for you. How about that? Get our own Sheriff Lariat Rose.
And that's game. Overwhelm. Uh, you know, like, we get to challenge, like, the 2-1 and overwhelm a whole bunch over. They don't have, like, their other things that have died don't have Fearsome. They can't block my 4-2 Fearsomes. So there we go. We got that one. Wraithcaller was awesome. Wraithcaller is really, really good. Yeah, so, so it would be ours permanently. Correct, yeah. So it would be ours permanently if we use Possession plus Chronicler of Ruin or Possession plus, um, you know, Thero Remitter. Yeah, we could be three and one, and so like we could have beaten both Noxus decks. So I mean, I can't I can't say that like the matchups too bad when when we should be two and zero oh against Noxus, but I I just did you know I I lost one of those two games. Okay, now this is going to be a, it, this is going to be really difficult to beat Noxus a third time with getting double six drop right away. Yeah, we're just playing against. Noxus again. Let me show you what I can do. They're, they're on on the play. They get to play. For, they get to attack first. <laughs> and we just draw all the six mana cards. So this is just silly. Like I can't even cast a single card yet on turn three. Hey, big Alfredo. Like, like I don't even know if we should even count this game. Like, what's like what's? I can't even. Like, what what are we? Doing? Let's just play a different game, because, I mean, it, that was 36 minutes in this uh, donation deck. That doesn't, that's not a good game for somebody to donate for. Okay, well, we'll just play against Noxus again. Um, but yeah, I'm not even just counting that game. That was, draw every single expensive card and, Possession the Undying. Is lit. Success. Get you notice around here. Got something for him. Oh, got some fighting ya. So yeah, I guess we'll we'll play the Undying. And you know, we're gonna try an undying hand, you know, like we'll have Chronicler that can get a new one, Remitter can get a new one. Um, stuff like that. Um, or we can Withering Whale, depending on what they do. Alright, so we're going to have to... Definitely going to have to do this and have my 3-3 three, three block their 4-3. Not a bad curve. 1 drop, 2 drop, 3 drop, 4 drop. Not bad. I certainly wish I had six mana right now and I could cast Sheriff Leria to Rose. Uh, donation decks are ten dollars. Ten dollars or or ten thousand channel points. All right, we'll get two undyings back. Hoping Withering Whale can help save us.
I was kind of scared to cast Withering Will first for like, uh, um, um, like transfusion and stuff. <clears throat> All right. Well, they they just have you know, like they have to. So like they can't have like I feel pretty good about winning this one. Feeling pretty good about this one. Because we're going to go straight to combat, obviously. They can't... Oh no, they had a Precious Pet. I was going to say, they can't have Noxion Fervor. They just had Precious Pet. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'd still just do it. Do I? Yeah, because, I mean, Imperial Demolitionist would kill me if they don't. Yeah, I mean, they just kind of... I think we have to. Okay, sweet. Yeah, because, exactly. If I play something, then, like, Decimate and Imperial Demolitionist, and then also, like, Crimson Disciple, those are all Nightmare cards. So, honestly, our deck was really good. Okay, it was. It was. Um, yeah, this, this deck was really good. So, cause yeah, so we, we went three and two, I guess technically three and three, but we had one game that just shouldn't really count. <laughs> like we just drew, we mulliganed and got all these six mana cards. Um, that was just a ridiculous game. So three and two of kind of the real games. And honestly, one of those, one of those losses, as we know, was my fault that I could have, um, used the Sherry. I, I made all their things vulnerable. I could have dealt combat. I, I. I killed all their things, but instead of killing all their things, I could have dealt more damage to them. Or I kept kept all of my stuff alive. I could have dealt more damage, and I had atrocity in hand, and so I just missed that. So really, we could have gone four and one. Um, but yeah, we did good against the Noxus deck. We did better than better than I thought, because honestly, all three real games against Noxus, we should have won. We just played it. We also had like that other game that was just a. A game where we didn't have uh, anything but we really basically won all three real games now with that being said they were all super super close and we could have lost all of them <laughs> uh, if my opponent had one other card that they didn't or i didn't have one card that i did like that kind of stuff all right back to let's talk about our deck though possession was amazing really liked that card i do think that we should probably trim some of this top end maybe it's rasa uh, maybe the metagame's too fast for Rasa. Um, I, I want to get I want to get something else for like turn two in, and especially like the Wraith Crawlers are are amazing, and so I kind of just want to play Mist Wraiths to go along with Wraith Crawlers, so that Mist Wraiths uh, can pair with them, or Arachnid Horror because Arachnid Horror is also a really good um, a really good blocker and can trade and things like that early. I'm honestly not that big into Vile Feast. I just want to I want to have more threats in this kind of deck. Um, I I like the one grasp. I like the one withering whale. I like the possessions. I could see getting rid of one, one remitter and one, rasa. Um. Honestly, maybe a citrus curry, but I could see getting rid of like those two and getting two mist rates in. Um. Rasa saved you so many times. Is. But right. Like, I don't know if it, I don't know if it's fast enough. Like, as we saw with all those games, we were, you know, ga all those games were, like, over before turn eight because, like, I'm glad we never drew Rasa, basically, right? Like, Rasa would have been too slow for us all the time. Yeah, so it seems too late for now. I would, I would put in Mist Wraith over Vile Feast myself. Um, basically, just help... Help your other Wraith Callers be even better. Vile Feast does help, like, Blighted Caretaker more. Um, but Mist Wraith's not, you know, like, this is not a bad card to even Chronicler of Ruin, right? Like, if you just need to, if you want to play Chronicler of Ruin on turn four, and you don't, you know, you, you have some, you know, you don't really have another target, Mist Wraith's another good target for Chronicler of Ruin. Yeah, we basically only got paired against aggro, I th think. Yeah, that sounds right. It does look weird playing two mist rates, since you're kind of, like, drawn to wanting to play a third. 
a third it would have to be over a citrus courier i think if if you want to get a third in that's where it would be is over a citrus courier or atrocity <clears throat> one of those two i'll keep everything else in and citrus taking out citrus courier is also good for wraith caller right like we don't we don't want to have that many bilge water cards because we saw missing with wraith caller is pretty rough so I guess I guess because of that, I think I would take out a Citrus Courier. And then, then we're down to six Bilgewater. But I know there's times where Citrus Courier can be amazing with Undyings. So that's why we have one. Because it can be amazing at some times. So that's that's a couple of you know, that's just some changes I'd recommend. Just get another two drop in here and trim some of the top end. Just a little bit. Not much. You know, you still want to have a, a nice powerful deck. Um, and we want to have mostly all Shadow Isles. But there we go. That's champion list. Midrange is always good to find more uh, budget decks. You know, right? Like these, these decks are kind of budget friendly. Um, okay, initially you played three Sheriff, one Courier, and the Courier was was pretty good for you. Yeah, I, I like Courier. I think I like Sheriff a little bit more, though. I liked that 6-5 body. Like, that was important, having something that was 6-5. Cool, cool, cool. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments also. Let me know what you think about this uh, this deck. If you got other champion list decks you want to talk about, anything about the metagame, any questions um, about Runeterra, you know, just you know, feel free to leave those um, comments on YouTube. I really appreciate them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Championless Undying, and I'll see you for the next video.